Hey my powerful learners, welcome to the new video of Asra's Education Power. Today's topic is leadership types. We all know what is the meaning of leadership. So let's know its types and there are five types. Positive style, negative style, autocratic style, democratic style and free reign style. Okay. So before getting start, do like, share and subscribe for the easiest learning videos. This topic is really very confusing but I will explain you in just easiest way. Wait a minute, I will show you what it is in the book and what I have written. See this, it's too lengthy much too much too much i have changed this into a very simple way and understandable way so let's get started with the video let's see what is positive style a leader motivates his followers to do work by offering them rewards okay a leader motivates them positive style of leadership so when leader motivates the followers, they also have interest to do work by the because uh, by offering rewards first, if a leader motivates a follower, he automatically have interest to do the work because he is motivating him. And if leader adds offering them rewards, they will work more efficiently. Okay, motivates positive style motivates positive leaders promote industrial peace he don't uh, force you he don't uh, put some penalties on you so you have industrial peace in that work peace industrial peace means workplace peace okay when you have peace you can work in very easiest way okay and a leader support and help the followers to do work in a quality way when a leader supports you when a leader helps you to do work you get more interest to do work and you will do a quality work this was the positive style what is in that a leader motivates motivates regards promote support help positive style let's see the negative ones negative one a leader forces a leader forces his followers to do work and penalty them penalties them if they doesn't complete the work on time if the leader puts a penalty on you if you don't do work on time it will automatically be a big headache that we have to complete our work in time and if he force you to do what do the work unnecessary work you have a negative uh, impact on your work so it's a negative style and negative style has high human cost most of the humans are under a uh, negative style only and the leader acts like boss than a leader leader is the one who manage like a manager okay he acts like a boss i am the boss you are nothing in front of me he acts like not like this so it's a negative one if he forces you if he penalties you so he if he acts like a boss it's a negative style i am giving you the explanation in very easiest way to get you understand the topic so here we having autocratic style in autocratic style we have the leaders have the full power or authority to take decisions autocratic means autocratic means self self auto means self critic means leadership autocratic style self-doing is called autocratic okay 
so the leader have full power and full authority to take decisions and the leader creates work situation under which subordinate are expected to do work and subordinate work no more or no less than inst- instructions of leader if the leader said you to do this work they will do that work only they will not do anything extra they will not uh, decline a work okay and the followers feel insecure or afraid of authority of leaders means uh, uh, of course they are autocratic leaders means they can take they have full authority they have full power to take any decisions so they are afraid of the things and they are afraid of uh, leaders power and they work under them so autocratic style democratic style or participative style means democratic means of course i know india is a democratic country but democratic means self doing self things but it is quite opposite to autocratic it is quite opposite to autocratic the authority is de- decentralized decentralized means there is no one cent- central to it no one central to it authority is decentralized means no head okay so the followers are permitted to take their own decisions and they work accounting to it and the leaders have leaders take advice to the subordinate before taking any decisions okay leaders take discuss and take advice um, by their followers before taking any decisions and followers get opportunity to show that they are ability followers get opportunity to show their ability or talent in the business followers can dominate the leaders your followers can dominate the leaders it was democratic style or participate participative style let's uh, move on to the free reign style here free reign style this is the spelling f f r e e r e i n it's not r a i n okay leader have no authority or no responsibility here leader have no authority and no responsibility in the business so the followers has to take their own decisions by their authority okay and the style is uh, employed centered means employed has to take their own decisions and work according to themselves okay this style is employed centered style and the employees train themselves and they are self motivated means you have to do this yeah, we have to do this uh, so that we can earn the profits all everything is decided by the employees okay leaders bring information to the employees which are utilized in their jobs there is no contribution of leaders in this style nothing leader is just for name everything is for employees only by the employees only to the employees only okay leader brings information to the employees which are utilized in their jobs contribution of leader is nothing in free reign style so this was your uh, leadership types do like share and subscribe to my video and if you want more videos related to management planning or uh, foreign trade uh, commerce or many many videos i made education videos so you can do like share and subscribe to my channel for more and easy understanding videos thank you for watching